Hello everyone, this is Suzanne and I'm outside getting some cool fresh air today. I got some awesome great footage. Wow, you're going to love it. I will attach it to this video for your enjoyment. So as the spirit move gets off the ground, we are so excited and we're excited for all our members so far. Thank you for joining us. Today I'm going to talk about needs and wants and the love of money being the root of all evil. Now, we all have to have money to live, right? Yeah, to buy groceries, food, clothing, shelter, all those things. Those are needs. That is not having a love for money. I heard someone make a statement that said, money is the root of all evil. And she was in regard to people wondering where the next stimulus was or if it was coming at all and she was trying to tell people oh you, you know you got to believe in god and that's you know the love of money is the root of all evil well i beg to differ because that's not the love of money a lot of people are losing their homes going without food not being able to buy medicines that's those are needs and to inquire about something that we've been promised forever is not the love of money at all. It's just we want to survive and we want to get through this with the least amount of pain that we can. So needs and wants. You know, I would love to have a great big fancy house with maids and butlers and servants. But is that necessary for me? No. Maybe I can buy something a little smaller that I can maintain and I can do my own work. <laughs> now there's nothing wrong with having help if you need it. I'm not talking about that. But what I am talking about is look at the needs and wants in your life. I crochet and I need yarn and I need lots of it. <laughs> now do I really need it? Mm, I want it. I just love the colors. I love the variegated colors. I love everything about it. But I have to watch my budget on how much I buy because it's a want. It really isn't a necessity, but it sure makes things more pleasant for me. And that's okay. And it's okay to rejoice in what the Lord has given us. And we can enjoy the fruit of our labors. We can enjoy going out and getting a pedicure or doing something really nice for ourselves. And that's great. But we have to keep that balance between those needs and wants. So don't let somebody tell you or throw at you, oh, you're loving money. No, most of us don't love money that are Christians. We need it to survive and that's okay. It's okay to want the money to survive. So you have a blessed day and you know what? What stimulates you? I'm gonna let God stimulate me the most because I'm gonna keep my faith strong and my faith is my gift back to God for loving me so much. All right, everyone, you have a blessed day. Watch for that deer footage, it is amazing. All right, everyone, thank you again for being a part of As the Spirit Moves. All right, everyone, I came around the other side so you could get a more clear shot of these two laying down. Let me see how close they let me get. There we go. Now that deer is a little bit darker. And there's the mom. I think, yeah, this one must be the mother to this little one here. I'm not sure what age the babies are when they um, leave mama. But um, they're not skittish yet. I think I can take one more step closer. Hello. I'm just going to be really quiet. Yeah. Well, thank you for letting me get so amazingly close. I am so honored to be bringing these deer videos to you because not everybody gets this close and it's amazing when you can. A little step closer, that's all. Yeah, just a little step closer. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, I'm probably 12 feet from them. I don't think I'm going to push it any closer because they're being so kind and so trusting. Yes, you are. Well, I'm glad you guys let me get a little bit closer. Yes. Hello, Mama. Hey, Mama. Can I eat my way a little bit closer? Mm -hmm. Look at those features in those sweet faces. You see her looking off that way because she heard a noise. There are squirrels back here that sometimes run across them and they're like, what? And they get up and run. All right, everyone, this is Suzanne from God Crochet and Chatter and my new YouTube channel, As the Spirit Moves. I certainly hope that you've enjoyed this video of the deer today. Thank you for watching, and it's been my honor. I know, I don't want to turn it off. They were so nice. And they're so trusting of me. All right, we'll leave this family by themselves. That might be the doe. I think that is, I think that's another doe. Because she's not that big. And this is a little doe, and then the mama. And usually the babies get up right away because they get spooked, but they're very trusting. I'm surprised. All right, everyone, you have a great day. Be blessed. Hello, everyone. This is Suzanne. Oh, look at her stretch. Are you stretching? Huh? She's just back here with her little one just enjoying let's see how close I can get here why she's distracted she didn't notice me getting closer I hope everyone can hear me I don't want to talk too loud because they do get spooked getting closer well, hello. Yeah. Oh, big stretch. Yeah, were you laying down a long time? Huh? Yeah, you're so pretty. She's just cleaning herself. There's a big branch in front of me and I don't, can't go around it. Well, hello. There's one out here that is a deer stomper. I'm get, trying to get a little bit closer. There, that's all, yeah. You're so pretty. I'm probably 12 feet from her. See the, oh, she's gonna sit back down. You don't care, do you? Yeah, hello, you're so pretty. You're beautiful. Yeah, you are. You are so pretty. So trusting. You know you're not in any fear, huh? I'm gonna walk two steps closer. Okay. All right, I'm probably 10 feet from her. Look how close she is. Hello, pretty girl. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer. I'm climbing over things very carefully. This might be too close. Yep. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Oh, look, there's a third one. I'm not going to hurt you guys. Yeah. Look at the coloring, how one is darker than the other. Kind of see her ribs. Yeah. Well, that was a nice treat for us right off the bat. Yeah, hello. As long as I keep um, kind of quiet. 
What do you see there, huh? Oh, look, there's four of them. One laying down, one there. And look, she's laying right, and she's turning her back to me. Isn't that wonderful? Okay, I'm gonna get a little closer and see how you let me do, huh? You are so pretty. Are you my pretty girl? Yeah. Well, hello. Yes, I am so close to you. I wish I could pet you. Yes, hello. I'm not going to hurt you at all. There's a better view of those two. And one right over there. Well, I wasn't expecting to see them so soon, but I sure am glad. And you are beautiful. All right, we're going to let her lay here and rest. She was kind enough to let me get this close. This is the beginning of a great walk. Yes, it is. All right, everyone. I'll see what else I can get. Maybe nothing, but we'll see. I don't want to leave her. <laughs> oh, I do not want to leave her. Hello. Hello. Do you want to come see what this is? Huh? Well, come here and see. Huh? Come here and see. Oh, she's so very trusting. All right, everyone. I'm going to let her be because she was so sweet. I'm going to back out of here now. Hello everyone, this is Suzanne, and I'm coming back out of my trail, back around, and I do believe the deer are still up here. Yes, they are. Let's go see if we can pay them another visit. They're still sitting there. Can you see them back there, Lord? Look at that. Let's see if they're still as trusting of me. They trusted me on the way in. Hello again. The one is totally laying down. See it? Hello again. Hello, pretty girl. It's me again. I see you guys are resting. Yeah, are you resting? Yeah, hello again. And my feet are tangled up here on a branch. Yeah, she's not bothered by me because I came through. Yeah, hello. Hello. Hi, sweetheart. You want to let me get just a tad closer, huh? Yeah. Oh, it's so nice seeing them being so trusting. She's not quite sure. Hi, pretty girl. Huh? You know I'm not going to hurt you. No. Well, this was a beautiful ending to my walk today. We find our three deer. They're still resting in the same spot, which is wonderful. They have no fear because I'm talking low. So we're going to bid them adieu and let them continue resting. She's not sure because I'm so close. I'm going to back off just a little bit. Well, this has been an amazing walk so far. I'm going to continue my walk. I'm going to go over to the other side and I'll get some footage over on the other side of our park for you. All right, everyone. I hope you're having a blessed day. I know I am. This has been fantastic.